Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to take another look at Sally's book selling data, and we're going to take what we call our five number summary. So our Q1, Q2, Q3, min, and max, and use that information to construct a box and whisker plot. Okay, so the first thing that I need to do is I need to make sure that on a number line, I have enough room to extend from my minimum value up to my maximum value. So that means I need to be able to go from one up to a value close to 57. Maybe I'll say I'm gonna go to about 59 or maybe 60. So maybe I'll count by hmm, maybe fives. So why don't we actually, instead of starting at one, why don't we let it start at zero and just count by fives. I think that might be easiest. So zero, five, 10, 15, and just continue. In this way until you get at least up to your max value, if not just a little bit past it. Okay, so I'm gonna go up to 60. Now I have a scale that is consistent on my number line that I can start to plot values above. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by plotting my Q1 and my Q3 so I can start creating my box. So a Q1 of 17 for me would be about right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a vertical line there. And 42 would be about right here. So I'll draw an equal size vertical line there and connect as straight as I can to my box. All right, so I've got my box from Q1 to Q3. The next piece I'm gonna add is my line through that box at my Q2 or my median. So 26 is about right here, so I'm gonna draw my line through at my median. All right, that completes the box. Now we need to add the whiskers. So my whisker needs to go up from the center of my box to my max value. 57 would be about there, so I'm gonna draw a little stopper for myself and connect from the edge of the box to that max value. And same thing down here at my minimum value of one, drawing a vertical line, connecting up to my box. So there we have a box and whisker plot for Sally's book sales data. Catch you guys in the next video.